Hey everyone, I'm Kyle Yates of the Fantasy Pros Football Podcast. Thanks for joining us. As always, you can find our brand new content every week at youtube.com slash fantasy pros, as well as on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe while you're there. Now let's dive in because today I'm talking about 10 players that you can find outside the top 11 rounds that can make an impact for your fantasy football lineup in 2020. Jonu Smith, Tennessee Titans. Would it be a Kyle Yates video if I didn't talk about Jonu Smith? The talented and athletic tight end is currently going off the board as the tight end 16. He's always shown flashes of his talent and athleticism, but has been stuck behind Delaney Walker for the past few seasons. In a receiving core that needs someone else to step up, Smith is in a fantastic spot to break out this season and finish within the top 10 at the tight end position. Anthony Miller, Chicago Bears. If you're looking for a player in the back end of the 13th round who could greatly outperform his draft spot, it's Anthony Miller. Miller should easily be second on this Bears team in targets, and he has the talent to capitalize on his opportunity. In his rookie season, he finished with seven touchdowns on only 33 receptions, and this offense should be better than what we saw on the field in 2019. There's no reason someone with as large of an opportunity in front of him as Miller should be going off the board as the wide receiver 55. Robbie Anderson Carolina Panthers. This Panthers team is going to be airing out the ball a ton in 2020, and that means a huge opportunity for the wide receiver two in this offense. While there's a possibility that Curtis Samuel takes that spot, right now there's very little downside to selecting Robbie Anderson as the 56th wide receiver off the board. If he does take the wide receiver two job, you have a borderline wide receiver three option that you acquired super late. He's worth the dart throw late in your drafts. Deshaun Jackson, Philadelphia Eagles. While selecting a 33-year-old Deshaun Jackson might not feel great, he's going to help your fantasy roster as long as he's on the field this season. With no Alshon Jeffrey to start the year, Jackson could be heavily targeted in this Eagles offense. As we saw last year in Week 1, it can lead to some insane performances. There's no reason to not draft Jackson at his current draft price of wide receiver 59. Cam Newton, New England Patriots. If you choose to wait on quarterback this year, Cam Newton should be the player you're aiming to acquire with one of your final picks. Newton's had a significant amount of time to get his body right again, and as long as he's fully healthy, he's a fantasy football cheat code. He gets a matchup against the Miami Dolphins defense in Week 1, and while I like the improvements they've made this offseason, it's not a defense that scares me away from selecting the Patriots quarterback late. If he is back to full health, you have a locked and loaded starting quarterback every single week for your fantasy lineup. If he isn't fully healthy, you can cut him and pick up another quarterback to stream in Week 2. Zach Moss, Buffalo Bills it's not every day that you can find a running back that should see significant touches going as the RB48 in ADP right now. Moss is a perfect complement to Devin Singletary in Buffalo and should be the first and second down option in this backfield. While Moss absolutely comes with injury concerns, there's very little risk associated with drafting the starting running back for a run-heavy team in the 14th round. Michael Pittman Jr., Indianapolis Colts. Last season, Terry McLaurin burst onto the scene as a rookie and was a solid contributor for your fantasy lineup right away. There's a case for Pittman to have the same level of impact this season. Pittman should become a favorite target of new Colts quarterback Phillip Rivers, and he was one of my favorite receivers to watch coming out of college. Pittman's able to go up and get it deep downfield and should be a factor in the red zone as well. If you're looking for a wide receiver who can finish much higher than where you have to draft him, it's Pittman. Antonio Gibson, Washington football team. With Darius Geis no longer on the team, Gibson has a clear path for touches in this backfield. Not only should he receive several carries per game on the ground, but there's a very good chance that we see Gibson be a huge factor in the receiving game too. We may even potentially see him line up as the slot receiver. If that's the case, Gibson's going to see more than enough work to be a steal at his current ADP of RB56. Devin Duvernay, Baltimore Ravens. Devin Duvernay is a speedy slot receiver now entering the NFL after a successful senior season at Texas. He was drafted in the third round by the Baltimore Ravens, and he should be a factor in this offense almost immediately. He's a perfect fit for Lamar Jackson and has the ability to take any quick pass to the house with his acceleration. If you're playing in super deep leagues and you're looking for someone to draft, Duvernay's worth the late round pick. Brian Edwards, Las Vegas Raiders. Edwards was one of my favorite receivers leading up to the draft, but injuries that he suffered during the pre-draft process led to his draft stock falling to the third round. 
With that being said, he landed in the perfect offense for his skill set and he should be on the field as the outside receiver on day one. I wouldn't be surprised at all to see his ADP rise up as we get closer to the start of the NFL season. Get him super cheap while you can. Thank you for tuning in to the Fantasy Pros YouTube channel. Don't forget to tell us what you think in the comment section below. And while you're there, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons so you can stay up to date on all of our future content.